Hello everybody, got a somewhat organized workshop. That means it's time for a new project. Up today, I'm going to be making sure all my Christmas light strands are working. Because it's just real close to time for decorating. So I'm going to start getting the totes out and see what we can get into here. Let's get started on testing some lights. I'm going to start with these three bell clusters because they're handy. I'll take that back and I want to start with the two bell cluster because it's even more handy. Here's that's working just fine. Go on to the next one. Now we got a three bell cluster. <coughs> Looks like all three of those are going to work. No problems there. There's the second three bell cluster for the front porch. See if it's gonna work. Maybe the cord will reach. Uh oh, looks like we got a bulb out. May have a wiring issue there. I'll have to work on that a little further next. I guess I'll give this eight light candelier a test. think there was any trouble with it last year and it appears it's working I've got the GE Globrites in this from the 1970s or early 80s late 70s early 80s that is and those have a nice deep blue color I like those those are reminiscent of childhood that's the bulb that my grandmother used and I found a bunch of new old stock ones, so I got as many as I could, where I'll have plenty to last me the rest of my life. Alright, I'm going to try my fiber optic tree. I've got bubble lights on it, and a strand of mini icicle lights from the 80s. It appears that part's working. It's got a fiber optic section as well in this base here. There's the base for it. Give that a quick test. This uh, my grandmother bought for me in 2005 when I lived in my apartment. This was the last Christmas tree she bought me. That appears... The bulb appears to not be working in that, so we have to swap that out, I reckon. I got the base back together. Give it a quick test. Don't know if that's showing up on camera, but the fiber optics are working. Oh yeah, I can see that. So that. Let's try this strand of uh, miniature tulip lights. Dead. So, I guess we'll get the old Light Keeper Pro out and get, to get busy. to see which ones work and which ones don't. I got this starburst type fixture. Those work. I usually have trouble with these and those others are usually working so I'm going to put that in the working pile. I've got another strand of those. Petal, tulip petal lights. Those work. 
Make sure I'm in frame. Oh, yeah. Just see what all works and what all doesn't, and I'll fix what didn't. And we'll go on. Wow, both of those work. I have to work on those every year. And this is a strand that kind of goes in the middle of the tree. It's just an old modern strand. I think this might be random sparkle. Let's find out. It's dead, whatever it is. No? So we'll have to work on that one too. Probably the old Lightkeeper Pro make quick work of that. And here's one of these other pedal sets. That one works and is ready to go. Another one of these flower pedal sets. This one's usually pretty reliable. And this year is no exception. I don't see any burned out bulbs, so we're good to go there. Get the old GE pedal lights from 1994. These are usually pretty reliable as well. I'll go ahead and put them back on the holder like they came from the factory. And wouldn't you know it, we got a loose bulb somewhere. Or maybe a shunt was a little bit messed up, but whatever, it works. Got a second set of GE pedal lights from 1994. And then those fired right off, no problem. I've seen them do that, it takes them a minute to come up. So that's, that's not completely out of ordinary. I've got this set of 80 pedal lights. Let's see what these do. These historically work pretty well. Except for this year I've got some that need attention. So alright. I know what I've got to work on now. On this pile, I've got three strands that are not fully working, so I'm going to get after these. Well, I found the problem with this one without having to get the Lightkeeper Pro. I've got a socket that needs repaired, so I will get my spare sockets out and I'll get that fixed. Get a look at them. They are working. So that one's halfway working. Get the Light Keeper Pro. See what we got going on here. Pull that back up. Oh, there it goes. It's burned out. How many bulbs are burned out? I see three. So there's those working. These are, are not anything special or fancy. Just some modern miniature bulbs. A hundred light strand. But they are indeed working. But next we have a vintage set. I usually put these on the lower portion of the tree. I think I see the problem already. There's a loose bulb in the box. So I've got to see where that goes. If that's all there is to it, then that'll be an easy fix.
Excellent. So all the miniature bulbs, miniature light strands are repaired on the main Christmas tree. So that's a good thing and now we'll go to the next one. I found one more short strand that I used on the main Christmas tree. This is just another no value to modern light strand. It's working. So I'll put that in the working pile too. Now let's get into the C6 strands. I have really come to grow fond of these. And there was the loose bulb. Those for looking, those are looking pretty good. Here's one with a couple of bubble lights. These bulbs always loosen up. And those are ready to go. There's the next strand. All tightened up. And those are working very, very good. And then these here, these miniature screw-in bulbs, these are usually a little finicky. Let's see what they do. Now that is unusual. I usually have to mess around with these a little bit before they'll start working. So yeah, those are good. I only have one strand of those and I think that's plenty due to how finicky they are. So I'll put those back in their special box. Try to keep these protected. Alrighty, we'll come back to the next one.